Hey guys, this is Coconut. It is Friday the 13th, and oh my god, we have just attacked Syria, and a lot of people are anxiously awaiting information to come across the news sites as to what happens next. I mean, it's Friday the 13th, so that of course, well, you know, for us witches, it's a great thing. But for a lot of people, they're already antsy about that date. Anyway, I'm sipping on a mojito, reflecting on life, and I thought I would share a quick witchy tip with you. So, um, I know that you probably saw, like, on on Instagram and Pinterest, rather, some fabulous witchy labels, like, around Halloween. And if you have access to a printer, t- avail yourself, you know, print them off. They're beautiful. But what happens if you don't have access to a printer? So... I was inspired, um, as you see in my video, I have my mason jars painted black and I have made some DIY labels and I want to share the process with you. So as you know, I'm in Jamaica. I'm reading this fabulous book here. Um, and you should order this book, by the way. I'll probably drop a link for you. And if you hear any noise, it's because we are avid political aficionados and we are watching the news okay so that's what you hear in the background but anyway this book is so beautiful and ancient and it inspired me to show you how to make this paper it is very simple all you need is some printing paper copy paper some coffee water scissors and a lighter and that's it You can scrunch the paper up to give it more of an antique feel. You're going to completely wash the paper with coffee water. So this is using unprepared coffee grinds and water. That's it. The the more um, coffee you have in the water, as far as ratio is concerned, then water is going to give you a darker appearance. And um, you're going to completely paint the paper. I didn't have a paintbrush, so I used my hands. <laughs> you can do that, you know, it's okay. And then um, I let this dry overnight outside. I just hung it up. But you can always choose to stick it in the oven on low heat and let it dry that way. And then I cut them up. I use the lighter just to give it a nice burnt edge appearance because you want it to look antique Just be careful, and if you're a child, make sure you get your parents' permission to do this project or get their help to do this project. If you're a child, I don't want you to play with fire at all. So I have three bottles here because I have been making different washes, and the latest thing I did was um, made frankincense and myrrh water or frankincense and myrrh spray or frankincense and myrrh milk. You may hear those chains interchangeably, those labels interchangeably. And basically frankincense and myrrh are great resins to burn when you want to have protection and spiritual protection in the home, when you want to have clearance and clarity. And I thought it would be great um, to show you how you could use it without having to smoke it as an incense because some people can't take smoke or can't or aren't allowed to have incense burning in their homes or apartments. So you would make this milk up, transfer it to a spray bottle. And as long as you're holding the spray bottle higher, you probably don't have to worry much about it damaging anything. But of course, test it on any fabrics that you're concerned with, okay? And I will show you that recipe in another video. Um, So it's very simple to make these DIY labels. If you are creative and you're an artist, an artiste, I'm not, um, you could, you know, do some beautiful calligraphy or add stickers and different things. But I wanted to just show you like a very basic way to have some labels done so that your mason jars look uniform, okay? 
and um, the frankincense water you can also add crystals to it like you saw me show in the video or in the picture and um, you can do like a clear cord so you could do a tourmaline for example for protection so I'm showing you these videos because I want you to get crafty, okay? I want you to be busy about your work and become knowledgeable, knowledgeable about your craft. So I think that's everything I wanted to talk to you about. Um, let me know if you are going to do this project and I would love to see your take on it. So thank you so much for listening. It's Friday the 13th. Take care out there. You know, frankincense and myrrh water sounds great right about now. <laughs> I'm going to sip my mojito and enjoy the rest of my evening. Thank you so much for watching. Om Shreem Brezzy.